Well, I think we, we, we've been in contact maybe a few years ago, right? And uh, we've never met. And um, whenever I was doing my film, people were like, oh, have you heard about this film? And obviously, different countries and different places. But, you know, there is a similarity as well. So it's kind of really exciting, I think, to actually finally meet. And yeah. <laughs> it was super nice to meet, actually, because I've met the producer. In, yes, Flo. Yes, yes I, yeah, met, yeah, yeah, I met yeah. Flo in Idfa like three years ago. I was in the Idfa Academy and she was, I think, pitching the film. And it, it, was, it was awesome to see that, okay, there is another movie coming out from Libya and maybe there is something in common. And um, it was really nice to just meet face to face here, yeah, yeah, finally. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, because I I, um, I didn't still uh, had the, the the time to see uh, Freedom Fields. Yeah, we didn't but see each other's films. Yeah, yet, we, so. we, we still didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> but it would be um, it would be nice not to because it's it's not a comprise, and you know, and it's and also it's not a competition. Yeah. Every country has its own. Um, its own background, its own history, its own political, social, economical situation that's different, especially it's really different. Yes, it's, it's Arab countries, but also African countries. And um, I hope the audience, the people around the world would, um, would see the movies without uh, trying to compare or trying to find something in common. Even, yes, both films are uh, dealing with the women football players trying to for in my film, they are trying to be the national women football team. I don't know in yours. <laughs> they are, and then they leave. But I think the, the point is, is that they're very different countries, you know. And I think this is in general in the continent, uh, in Africa, that often people just put everything together as one place, um, especially if they speak a similar language. And every country has its own nuance. Every struggle has its own nuance. And I think it's really important, especially in a festival like this, that you allow and you celebrate those differences because otherwise, you know, we might as well just make news pieces and we're not. We're making uh, cinema, we're, we're telling stories. And I think, you know, you give yourself the time. I think both of our films took a long time to make and that's because you want to explore nuances. And so I think it's really important to celebrate that, okay, there are similar themes, but. They are very different countries with very different people, in fact, you know. I'm, I haven't seen yours, but, you know, people are different from one to the other. So just because a theme is similar, you know, they're different. And I think it's exciting to explore the themes, but also exciting to see where they kind of are different because everyone is also different, you know, so, yeah. Well... I mean, this is one thing where I think we can allow our films to share some commonality, is that there is a, a global movement at the moment towards you know, uh, visibility in women's sport, but also visibility of people using sport as a tool, and not it just being about football, but a tool for owning more space, of owning more involvement in society and on and off the pitch. And so I think that's something that's not just in Sudan or in Libya, it's something that's globally, I mean, you look, in Afghanistan or you look in America, they just kind of sued their federation. So, you know, there's a big movement happening and with the Women's World Cup coming up and more visibility on it than ever before, I think it's a really exciting time, I think, for women's sport, yeah. I think for Sudan, it's a bit more complicated because um, the FIFA and the Federation of Football in Sudan have been in contact since um, 1998 and uh, there should be development funds for the women football players in Sudan and they didn't receive any since then. So for, for, for my film and for the women football team in Sudan, there is excitement but also there is kind of questioning what's happening on, like what, what's going on through the, through the Federation of Football and through FIFA. And what's the plan for Sudan? Like, uh, they will continue sending funds to the Federation of Football in Sudan only for the male teams and for the female teams. They are like outcasts and they are ignored. 
So I believe, I hope, if my film is doing anything in the world, it's just to, um, to knock doors and to ask questions and to try to reach out for the people in charge, like what's going on <laughs> with the women football team in Sudan. And hope the World Cup in France this year would raise more awareness and more interest of what's going for the women football team. I hope Sudan will get a national team for women. They have been playing football now for almost 14 years. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit critical, but also with lots of hopes. <laughs> Do you want to? Yeah, please. Um, I mean, right now in, in Libya, the I mean, the conflict's been going on for years, but the a new war has just started in Tripoli, and um, so again, Libya is in the news. Um, but it's the same images you always see: it's militias, it's violence, and you know, there. I think it's important to humanize what's going on behind. This, you know what's going on behind what we see in the media because there are people that are trying to live and breathe and exist and it's really difficult but they are trying you know and um, you, you you don't always want to be defined by the conflict that's in your country I mean you have to work through it but it doesn't you don't want it to define you and I think you know there are so many stories and people doing things that you know go beyond that and I think it's cinema can be a really powerful tool for allowing people to connect in a way that's kind of a bit more human. Yeah, I hope. I, I think um, Africa has been um, very, has some cliche images since uh, very many long years. And that's because of uh, history of colonizations and history of new imperialism, etc. But I think it's not, it's not back in the history. It's still happening till today. So we are still facing the same mindset, the same like, white philosophy about Africa, that this, that this continent is poor, that this continent has no resources. And it's, it's a victim. Person. And, it's, uh, and, it's, um, and it's not really, it's actually the opposite but the, the, the voices from Africa would never have the chance to tell their stories and their history in their own way because we don't have actually the, uh, the, in the big industry, we don't have the same system and we are still, the gap is really huge between Africa and like Europe or North America or the rest of the world. So I believe, yes, uh, films are doing a good job but it's, it's still not enough because the whole media, the whole system is selling the same ideas for very, very long years. And um, it's when you, when you are trying to do uh, another, um, when you are trying to face this reality with another image, sometimes actually you are not really welcome because it's a big business. It's a... Uh, yeah, the industry of making films is even colonial, where the power is, where the money is. You know, it's... Uh, it's very complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for asking. <laughs> yeah.